This is a quick video tutorial on how to change, or I should say modify, the tabbing order, not in InDesign, but you would do that in Acrobat Pro. So here's my InDesign document that has a mock form with several text fields in there. So when I export it out as an interactive PDF file, I'll say export, Adobe PDF Interactive, it's a test form. I'll save it. I'll replace it with what I have already. I'll accept the defaults. And now what will happen is, if I were to tab this, it's going to tab down one column and then down the next column. Okay, easy enough, fair enough. But let's say I want to tab from row to row, like in other words, if I'm here, I want to tab here, then here, then here, then here, etc. going all the way down. How do I do that? All right. And again, this is a function that will take place in Acrobat Pro. I'll go over to Tools. I'll drop down to where it says Prepare Form. I'll click on that. And when I get that, I will see all the forms highlighted in Acrobat. I'll do a Command A, so I select all of the forms. Then where it says Fields, there's like this little icon right here to the right of it. I'm going to click on that, and let me see if I can pull this in so you can see the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to click on this and pull it a little further. Okay, click on this, and you'll see it has order tabs by structure, order tabs by rows, order tabs by columns. Oh, there it is, order tabs by columns. I'll click on that. And as you can see, what it did was it rearranged all of the fields here so that it will tab by rows as opposed to columns. Let me see, click here. Well, I'm sorry, order by order tabs by row. That's what I want, order tabs by row, not by columns. Okay. So, now that I did that, I'm going to preview it. When I tap here, I hit the tab key, it's exactly what I need. It's going by row, from row to row, left to right, row to row. So, that's how you would set the tabbing order, not in InDesign, but you would set it up in Acrobat Pro.